Okay, I'm doing another video. I'm using my iPad here connected to my Dwarf 3 telescope, which is right over here. It's getting kind of dark over there, but there's its two little lights. <laughs> you can kind of see it there. Okay, anyhow, doing some more of the, the pictures of the moon. This time I'm going for, there we go, let's see, 50 total. And I'm stacking 11 so far, a gain of zero again, and this time at 1 60th of a second. And it's as I do this, every photo gets sharper and sharper. So it's pretty neat. And it still has that kind of a reddish tinge. It looks like uh, almost like it's a, a lunar eclipse or a blood moon, but it isn't. It's just the, uh, the smoke uh, from the fires from California coming up to Washington State. So... It's kind of like a, a neat filter to use in this case. So it's not, uh, the moon isn't full yet. In another couple of days it will be. And of course there's going to be an eclipse uh, in the other part of the world from here. But uh, I guess uh, since I'm not going to travel all the way to Europe or Asia or Australia, uh, this is the next best thing. And uh, the smoke is still in the sky come uh, Sunday when we're going to have the eclipse. And if it's not cloudy, I'll go ahead and try it that way. <laughs> The, by the time the moon comes up here, it'll uh, the eclipse, we won't be able to see it because it'll be done. Either that or it hasn't started yet, but I believe it's it hasn't, it'll already be over by the time it rises here. But, uh, you know, if the smoke is still there, I can get some photos that'll make it look like it was an eclipse. So, so far it's already stacked, or excuse me, it's already taken the 50 photos, but it's only uh, tracked uh, 21 so far. But it, uh, it'll get there more and more. So I'm going to keep doing this until the wires get in front, which uh, won't be for a little while. I got it around the corner, the, the scope set up to where the wires are, are above it. So I can still do this for a while. But uh, just having fun. It's uh, really neat to use this nice little light telescope to get so many great photos of the moon, the sun, and of course all the different constellations and so many different objects to, to take photos of. So it's, it's a great little scope. Okay, here we go.